Welcome back, everybody, for the grand finale of the Trajan Campaign. Blood in the water. Uh, so I double-checked ahead of time, and there is no achievement here, although we should be getting the, you know, complete the Trajan Campaign achievement after this. So we're just going to go through and do our best. Let's turn up the volume. Let's jump in. The pages of history are littered with brilliant victors and foolish losers. But foolish victors and brilliant losers are in much more exclusive company. I am not so arrogant as to call myself brilliant. Others can do that for me, if they deem it just. But I am no fool, and my instincts have been sharpened by decades of fighting. When a shark smells blood in the water, it attacks mercilessly. When news reached me of the civil war in Parthia, I resolved to do the same. A pang of pity for Osros struck me as I recalled the strife of my youth. But now that fortune has given me a chance to put a decisive end to an age-old rivalry, I cannot hesitate. Rome knows two great seas today, but tomorrow it will know a third. We will seize Tessiphon, the jewel of Parthia, and stride onwards in the footsteps of Alexander until my legions glimpse the ocean. If I succeed, I hope that history will remember Osros as a brilliant loser. But how will I be remembered? How will Hadrian? How will Rome? Well, it would inspire countless Romaboos the world over. Defeat Tessaphon. We begin in the Iron Age and can support a pop limit of 100, which is, I think, the, the most we've been able to do. Uh, some buildings are initially unavailable to you. You can enable them by capturing the Mesopotamian enclaves. Roman buildings are cheap. Once you unlock more military buildings, do not be shy about constructing forward bases. Build ships on the Tigris and Euphrates River to help your armies attack uh, Tessaphon. Nomadic bands scattered around the map will join you and your forces if you can locate them. Uh, Trajan leads an army along the Euphrates River towards Tessaphon from the west. Hadrian attacks from the north, and he's got stuff on the Tigris. Their Mesopotamian enclaves uh, serve as valuable launching pads. They've got Parthian troops. There's the Parthian capital of Tessaphon, the southeast. And the lucrative port of Charax lies to the southeast on the shores of the Persian Gulf. I will lead my forces down the Tigris and we shall meet by the sea. Sounds good. Okay, so. Everybody's Persians except us and Hadrian. Right. We are deep in enemy territory and must seize a forward base from the Parthians. Got it, boss. Uh, let's actually try and keep our scout alive. Uh, I mean, those are... Oh. That's an Ornlu moment right there. Yeah, I mean, those are full-on legionaries. Oh. To be honest, I was kind of hoping that would go better. Thankfully, we have that, that Roman bonus. It'll get there eventually, guys. Don't you worry. Meanwhile, we can check out... Hadrian's just kind of hanging around. Don't you guys worry. It'll get there. We got a barracks, a market, a TC, storage pit, granary, storage pit. Got another barracks. Parthian town is ours. We can set up camp here, but we will have to seize more towns to access more types of weaponry. Uh, we have the market. Let's get our eco upgrades. I mean, we can go all the way up to 200 pop. 
So let's not hesitate. Or did I say 200? I meant 100. Not that awesome. This is as fine a foothold as any. Um. All right, so Tessaphon's like in this general area. Also, Tessaphon, you may remember from the Opera de Custom campaign from Jacqueline. Hotkeys aren't the same as an AoE2 here. <laughs> but yeah, we'll definitely need to make sure to set up forward camps. That should be très important. Oh yeah, we also can make ships. Why does gate at D? What kind of buffoon am I? At the very least, we can go for some fishing ships. Oh, because Trirem is still on F. Not the FE designer, Trirem. The, the, the ship. Especially if we can go ahead and meet up with Hadrian, that'd be nice. The war galley. How much of my farms is Romans? 68. Yeah, we're fine. Oops, sorry, lady. Well, now our population's at least growing a little bit. Something of macro going on. Oh. I guess we can't really cross over here. Nope. Sorry, War Galley. I will now add cavalry to my army. That's great, Hadrian. I fully condone that decision. Tower shield. Let's get the government center. Oh, I guess he conquered that area. Five. We can add in trade later on if need be. Now, the cataphracts are going to be good against these infantry units, but I'm just kind of relying on all my ballistas here to carry me through. Oh, 
<sighs> get a farm there, and a farm there. Let's get ballistics. Stables enabled. Oh, that's why he's going to start making cavalry, because the, the stables are enabled. Uh, I mean, I guess we're about to get archers. Uh, can we build academies? Oh, yeah. I always forget to change my hotkeys back. Because we're going to need those centurions. If we were to have any hope. Okay. I guess we can start getting some trade cards going on already. Ooh. I'm not entirely sure if I'll be making a lot of swordsmen. And not just like the hoplite line. So we're just going to need to play this one by ear, I think. Because this feels like a lot of stuff that kills infantry. Okay, Helopolis is on the way. Oh, wait, Tessafon's like right in the middle of the map. Oh, my bad. Here I was thinking it was like all the way back here. Well, they got lots of towers. Okay, um... Is there like any stone on this map? We may have to be very careful with our tower placement. If we make any at all. Yeah, I'm kind of getting the sneaking suspicion that we really shouldn't be using swordsmen. It just feels like the, uh, the hoplites are so much better. Oh wait, there is some stone. Uh, I mean, I got some, some right now is like fodder. No, we won't. But what we will do is use this Helopolis to scout. Because it has good line of sight. Um... Yeah. At least they, these guys only cost half a pop space, but I mean, I'm going to be up against so much stuff that's good against what I'm making. just so much cavalry. So yeah, we'll continue with some uh, long swordsmen until we can really get our uh, centurions in. Okay. 
Did I order? I didn't order anyone to go actually mine stone. Don't need you guys over here. Yeah, maybe I should go for some long swordsman. Okay, yeah, we got our full centurion bad boys in. walls and everything. That is a big old base. Rogan? Oh yeah, Cherax. Oh yeah, the nomads. Heavy horse archers. Forgot about Cherax. and enrich ourselves. Hmm. Through the breach, make our emperor proud. Uh, let's go ahead and mine some gold over here. There's a lot of wood. Feel the power of the party and shot. Hmm. Let's get three of those guys, and we are just gonna slow roll this like crazy, because we are playing safe for once. Uh, do these guys not attack these guys? for all the ballista spamming. Let's also get some priests. I forgot to add those in the last scenario. Might be a good idea. Oh yeah, I also heard today that they're adding the uh, some of the AoE 1 campaigns into the game, like the original AoE 1 campaign. So we'll, we'll be playing those for sure. Increase the healing rate. Store faith faster. We're gonna increase the buildings. The opposite. Rogan. All right, this should be a plenty sufficient army. Attack people. Oh, okay, got some camels. I shall show you barbarians of the West. 
what magnificent culture truly is. Uh oh, that that'll make the Romavus mad. All right. I mean, playing Romans is fun and all, but I do kind of want to try like the the horse archers and chariots and elephants and other stuff that the other civs have. Oh, elephant archers, cool. Well, I can just also trade with my ally. Search for it's only hundred right now. Okay, I do need. Ah. Rogan? Let's get some of you guys. Hey, what's over here? Not too sure, actually. Oh, they're... It doesn't tell you that they're building a wonder. No, oh, that's... <laughs> that's not happening, amigo. Oh, they have like an eco down over this way. Uh, it kind of looks like I am, to be honest. Although it's mostly the ballista. Let's let's be real. I'm just killing everything with these amazing helipolis helipoli. Something Greek sounding. I just kind of want to take these guys out and see what's going on over that way. Make some staples to kill those archers. Oh yeah, those guys. Send them that way. Also, I love that monks can heal siege units. That feels pretty awesome. Oh, there's the government center. The very, very important looking university. Don't need this many bills on food. Yeah, I guess we're just slowly clearing up all that stuff.
Why is it that the Persians in this scenario are much easier than the Persians, sorry, Parthians, in the last scenario? <laughs> that feels kind of weird. I mean, I guess, it's, you know, this is supposed to be their big city stronghold. Yay! Let us see how the Parthians fare against my oh. auxiliary bowmen. There we go, Optimus Princeps. Let's hear that last outro. Someday, parents will tell children of the age of Trajan, the emperor who found Rome a city of marble and left it one of gold. Ironic, then, that I have no children of my own to tell this tale. I have a loving wife, but in truth, Rome herself has always been the love of my life. Perhaps the gods, in their infinite wisdom, deemed the care of children too much for a man who chose an entire empire as his family. Perhaps, as I lie on my deathbed, they are indirectly showing me the way. For years, Rome suffered under the yoke of cruel emperors with no merit other than their bloodline. Like Nerva, I will now choose my successor by merit. And what better choice than Hadrian? The loyal man who walked in my footsteps, learned from my example, and did it all without a single treacherous thought. The afterlife is timeless, immaterial, and boundless. I gaze towards the men tending my funeral pyre and hear them now call me a god. I look out over the forum that I built, the carved column that tells my story, and the city that is an empire's beating heart. I smile, knowing that I have left these people a better Rome than the one that I found. Yet, at the same time, doubt and dread gnaw at me. Now that I have raised the bar, others will try and match it and their vain ambition, conceit, and impossible expectations could drag Rome towards the same familiar decline from which I rescued it. Was I Rome's savior? Or its doom? Uh, neither, really? He was a pretty good emperor, though. One of the best, for sure. Anyway, good KD! Wait, I, n none of my trade cards they made actually made it to their destination. Feels bad, man. Yeah, that did feel kind of easy. Okay, yeah, we could have gotten a few more heavy horse archers if we had just gone over here. Don't really see any, like, hidden Easter eggs or anything. Oh, yeah, let's check out the other achievement. What's, uh, Calm, Cool, Collected with the Town Watch icon from AoE 2? Oh, win three games in a row and return to Rome. Hey! Alrighty, everybody. That was the Trajan campaign. Hope you all enjoyed. It was pretty fun. Yeah, it's just interesting learning a game that feels similar but different. But uh, next up, we will be doing Sargon of Akkad. So see you guys next time for that one.